Hello, hello, hello. My name is Erin. Welcome to my channel, The Wanderous. Erin the Wanderous. I'm so excited. However you found me, thank you for being here. Um, I missed you guys yesterday because some days you make videos and you're on a roll and then some days you decide that doing a virtual happy hour with your coworkers is what you need instead and that is called balance my friends so in the spirit of that <laughs> we are going to focus today on balance so um this is a 30 minute pop punk power flow so we'll call it a nice power pop punk power half hour um but we're also really going to focus on some strong strengthening balancing poses so we have a couple ready for you guys. I'm excited. And I know that you have been waiting so patiently to hear about what my all-time favorite Taylor Swift song is because our last video was a Taylor Swift-themed pop flow. So I finally, finally finished my March Madness Taylor Swift song bracket and Change was the winner. So that's one of my favorite albums. I remember being in high school and jamming it on my like iPad, iPod video when I was like on the way home from a <laughs> some sort of away sports game and when I was like very teen angsty. So I that just like I can I have a vivid memory when I listen to that song. I love it. But However, very important that there's a bunch of songs that I feel like should have made it onto this list. So I want to know, what was your favorite Taylor Swift song? Are there any songs that you think should have made it on? Like my favorite of all time is Forever and Always, and that should have been on there. It would have won for me out of all of them. So I want to know, tell me what was your favorite Um Tell me if you don't like Taylor Swift at all and there's another artist that you want a yoga class dedicated to their music. Let's do it. I'm all about it. So tonight we are definitely switching it up. If you like Taylor Swift though, stick around because we do have a blank space cover coming on to our playlist. So today, like I said, pop punk half hour, pop punk power half hour. There we go. That's a mouthful, but we like it. Today's class is called Too Much Panic, Not Enough Disco, so you can check out that playlist on Spotify linked below. That is 30 minutes. We're going to rock out. We're going to have some fun. Going to kick your butt a little bit, and then we're going to get nice and relaxed. So when you are ready, you may start that playlist. We will begin in a comfortable seated position. <laughs> Any seated position is perfect. When you get there, let's take a deep breath in, maybe bring those hands up. And exhale, press down. Deep inhale, bring those hands up. And exhale, press down. One more inhale as we bring those hands up high to the sky. And exhale, twisting to the right side. Maybe the left hand comes to the right knee. Maybe looking out over that right shoulder. Breath in. And exhale, hands come up deep. Inhale. And exhale, twist this time to the left side. Maybe we're looking out over that left shoulder now. Breath in. And exhale, hands come up, hinge at the hips, coming forward. We're not pressing it too far here. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale, walk those hands forward. We're going to begin in a reverse tabletop. Now you can decide which way your palms are facing on the mat behind you. And then bring it up, deep inhale. 
and exhale, I like to let my neck and my head hang back behind me. Deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna just take like five pulses here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Deep breath in, bring that right leg up. And exhale, bend the knee. Maybe bringing that ankle over onto the left leg. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring that leg down deep. Inhale, lift the hips up. And exhale, bring it down. Breathe in, reach that left leg up high. And exhale, bend the knee, bringing the left ankle now on top of the right leg. Deep inhale, lift those hips up. And exhale, bring it down. Find child's pose. Taking a moment to still our body. Knees out nice and wide, maybe toward the edges of the mat. Deep breath in. Then exhale, walk the hands forward. Breathing in. And then exhale, relaxing the chest down, relaxing the head down. Maybe you move the forehead side to side. Maybe find some wrist circles or make a fist and then release. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, bring it up to downward facing dog. We'll plant those hands on the mat. Coming up onto the toes, hips press up high the sky. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in, bring that right leg up. And exhale, bend the knees, stack and open up the hip. Down dog, hip opener. Breathe in here. Then exhale, if it feels good, maybe you start to make some circles. Take a deep breath in and exhale, bring it back to three-legged dog. Inhale here and exhale, bring that right leg forward in between the legs. We're coming up into Anjaneyasana, our crescent lunge. So that back foot is stacked, heel of the foot over the ball of the foot. Deep breath in, bring those hands up and exhale, maybe bringing them down, kind of cactus out in front of you, deep breath in. And exhale, hands come down through heart center. Inhale as you reach through your heart. And exhale, we're twisting to the right side. Hook left elbow to right knee. In the spirit of balancing, you decide if you keep that back knee up or down. Breath in. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down. We're going to shift our hips, adjust the feet, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Deep breath in. And exhale, walk the hands down. Find your wide-legged forward fold. We'll be here for about five breaths. So do what feels good for you. Taking it back and forth. Maybe you have an inversion. You decide what your body needs. Let's take our deepest breath yet. And exhale, begin to walk those hands back toward the feet, toward the center of the body. Hands come to hips, hinging at the hips, heel toe those feet closer together. We'll have the toes pressing out toward the corners of the mat, coming into goddess pose. So the toes and the knees are pointed toward the corner. So you're really opening up your hips here. Deep breath in. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Deep breath in. And exhale.
exhale, sink down a little bit deeper. Option here, you decide if you take it to come up on the right toes, deep inhale. And exhale, option to pulse here for three, two, one, and bring it down. Option to come up onto the left toes and pulse for three, two, one, deep inhale. And exhale, five, star reaching out to all corners of the room. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale and exhale. We're gonna cartwheel those hands down, but the opposite direction. Now you can bring yourself into nice Anjane Asana. Our crescent lunge, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale, bring those hands down through heart center. We'll inhale, reach to the heart. And exhale, twist to the left side. This time we're hooking the right elbow to the left knee. Deep inhale. And a deep exhale. One more breath in. And a breath out. Cartwheel those hands down. Front foot meets the back foot here, coming into our downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up high to the sky. And exhale, bend the knee, stack and open up the hip, down dog, hip opener. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Maybe we start to find some circles here if that feels good. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale it back to three-legged dog. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring it down. Breathe in as you bend your knees as much as you can. Exhale, hop, step, or jump to the top of your mat. And forward fold when you get there. Turn yourself around. We're now forward folding at the back of our mats. Inhale to halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift again. And exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring those hands up high to the sky. Maybe you find a back bend if that feels good. And then samasthiti. Bring those hands down through heart center. Let's take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep inhale. And exhale to Tadasana. Heel toe those feet to hips with distance. If it feels good here, you can find an intention, set an intention for your practice. Maybe thinking of a person that you could send a little extra love to. Maybe there's a word or a feeling that really speaks to you. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. We're going to bring more weight now into our left leg. Right leg comes up. Tree pose anywhere but the knee. Now once you have those strong roots, we'll begin to grow our tree branches. Deep inhale. And exhale. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, switch it up. Let's shake it out. Tadasana Mountain, deep breath in. And exhale, one more inhale. Exhale, let's bring more weight into that right leg. Left leg comes up, tree pose, anywhere but the knee. We don't wanna put extra pressure when you have those strong roots. Grow your branches and maybe it looks totally different than it did on the other side. That is a-okay. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale, bring that leg down, shake it out and forward fold. Let's inhale to halfway lift. 
and exhale, fold. Inhale as you begin to walk your fingers forward. Exhale, come into high plank. Deep breath in here. And exhale, low plank. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, I'm sorry, forearm plank, but you can bring it down to low plank too. Inhale, high. And exhale, forearm. You got this, start to inhale and walk the toes forward. Exhale. Inhale, come up on the toes. And exhale, dolphin pose, breathe in. Maybe you bring that right leg up. Then maybe a couple little taps. And then switch, maybe bring that left leg up. Maybe a couple little taps. Come back down, find child's pose. Take one more deep inhale and exhale, spreading the legs out behind you, laying down on your stomach. Put those hands down, one cheek to the mat. If it feels good, you can windshield wiper the toes back and forth or bend the knees and windshield wiper, wiper the legs from left to right. When you're ready, bring them down. We'll come into Salabhasana, Locust Pose. Now, the main focus here in Locust Pose is bringing our upper body up at the same time that we're bringing our lower body up. So, go at an angle here so you can see both of those things happening at the same time. Let's take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Now, this next inhale brings us up. And exhale, stay here. Inhale up. And exhale, stay. We have one more deep breath in. And exhale, bring it down. Opposite cheek to the mat. And maybe windshield wiper those knees. Or the toes. Now, for this next option, we'll take another Salabhasana Locust Pose, or you can try for Dhanurasana Floor Bow. So, for Floor Bow, we'll bend both the knees, grab for the outside edge of the ankles, and then as we inhale, we're reaching our chest up and forward. We are also pulling our ankles and then our shins up and back behind us. Deep breath in, and exhale. One more breath in and exhale, bring it all the way down, opposite cheek to the mat. <laughs> Let's take a deep inhale and exhale, press up to high plank, deep breath in and exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in, bring that right leg up high to the sky. And exhale, crunch it in, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale, crunch it in, knee to right tricep. Inhale up. And exhale, knee to left tricep. Deep breath in, bring it up. And exhale, knee to nose. We're crunching it in one more time. Hold and hover for three, two, one. Bring that right knee as close as you can to your right wrist. We're coming into half pigeon. Now try to relax that right, that left leg behind you. If you really feel like you're dumping down into your right hip, you can place a block underneath it. Then begin to walk the hands down in front of you. Maybe the head comes down. Coming back to your breath, coming back to your intention.
Take one last deep breath in. And exhale, walk the hands back to the knees. Breath in here. And exhale, option to bend that back knee and reach for it with either or both hands. And then bring it back up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, bring that left leg up high to the sky. And exhale, crunch it in, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Deep breath in, up. And exhale, crunch it in. Three, two, one. Bend that left knee as close as you can to that left wrist. Eka Padaraja Kapatasana, half pigeon. When you're ready, begin to walk the hands down. Remember, it's always an option to give yourself a little extra hip support. Deep breath in. And exhale, walk those hands closer to the knee. Breath in here. And exhale, option to bend that back knee. Reach for it with either or both hands. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Deep inhale. And exhale, hop, step, or jump to the top of your mat as you forward fold. Inhale to half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring those hands up high to the sky. Maybe you find that back bend. And then when you're ready, forward fold. All right, we're switching it up just a little bit here. So bending one knee and then the other in this forward fold. Bring all your weight onto your left leg. You're gonna bend your right knee behind you. I like to call it flamingo leg. Deep breath in here. Then exhale option to extend that left leg back, right leg, oh my goodness, back behind you, inhale. And exhale, and then we're gonna walk the hands a little bit closer to this left leg on the mat. Try to open up our hips as much as we can coming into standing split. So I might have to bend my knee here to bring the right leg up as high as I can. Let's take one more deep breath in and exhale. When you're ready, we're gonna bring it up to standing leg raise. So deep breath in, we have standing leg raise going on the right side. And exhale. Maybe you extend out in front of you. And exhale back to center. And then deep breath in. Maybe you bring it out to the right side. Exhale, maybe extending. Breath in. Breath out. Bring it back to center. Deep inhale. And exhale. Slow in the control. We're shooting it, shooting it back for airplane pose coming into Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. So you can have airplane arms, hands to heart center, We're really pressing that leg back behind us, almost as if it were pressing into a wall. One more deep breath in and exhale. You can either forward fold here or really work on that balance. Come into, with or without a block, Ardhashandrasana, half moon pose on the left side. So. Planting that left hand down onto the mat, or maybe onto a block. And then we're opening up the hips. Deep breath in, and exhale, back foot meets the front foot, forward fold. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale to halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift again, and exhale, fold, we'll bend one knee and then the other. Then when you're ready, bring all the weight 
into your right foot. Deep inhale. And exhale, make that flamingo leg. Bend the left knee. Foot comes behind you. Deep inhale. And exhale. Option to extend the left leg out behind you. Deep breath in. Exhale, option to come into standing leg raise. Starting to walk the hands closer to the leg. Opening those hips up, trying to bring that left leg up as high as we can, up above the head. Standing split, deep breath in. And exhale, slowly and with control, we're coming up into a standing leg raise. On the left side. So our left leg is raised, bent at the knee, deep inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale, maybe you extend out in front. Inhale back to center. Breathe in. And breathe out. Deep inhale here. And exhale, maybe you extend out to the left side. Take a deep breath in and exhale option. Ooh, with or without holding on to the left foot. Extending out to the left side, breath in, and exhale, start to bring it back to center. Now, slowly and with control, we are shooting it back into airplane pose. So left leg comes back behind us. Again, option to have those hands to heart center, or airplane arms. Deep breath in. And exhale, coming into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Otherwise, forward fold. So I'm slowly opening my hips up. This left leg is still in the air. Right leg is planted on the mat. And then once I feel stable enough, trying to bring that left arm up. Let's take a deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold. One more deep breath in as you halfway lift. And exhale, bend the knees so much that you can sit down on your bottom. Coming into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Deep inhale. And exhale forward. One more deep breath in here. And exhale, begin to walk the hands back behind you. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, recline butterfly pose. Same leg position. But now our entire back is down on the mat. Let's take a deep breath in. And let it go. Another deep breath in. And then this time we'll sigh it out. Breath in. Sighing it out. When you're ready, slowly, carefully bring those hands to the outside of the knees. Close them like a book. And bring it in toward the body. Give yourself a nice big hug. Happy baby. Bend the knees, grabbing for the outside knife edge of the feet or the big toes. And then just rocking and rolling here, playing around like you're a happy baby, having some fun. And when you're ready, start to rock and roll left to right. And now front to back so that eventually we can meet in Navasana boat pose. Whatever variation of boat feels good for you. Working a little bit more on our core, on our balance. Deep breath in. And exhale, hover in low boat. Inhale, high boat. And exhale, low boat. Deep breath in, high boat. Exhale, low boat. Good work. You got it. Inhale, high boat. And exhale, we're going to row our boat for 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and roll back onto your back. Deep breath in. And exhale with those knees. Windshield wiper back and forth. Then the next time they fall over to the right side, just let the knees stay there, coming into supine twist. Maybe you look out over your left shoulder if that's accessible for your neck. your deepest breath yet and exhale begin to windshield wiper the legs back and forth the next time they fall over to the left side let them stay supine twist maybe you look out over the right shoulder if that's accessible When you're ready, windshield wiper those legs back and forth, finding any final poses that feel good in your body that your body is calling for. As you settle into our final resting pose, spreading those legs out, spreading those hands out, taking up as much space as you would like. Coming into Shavasana. You have worked hard and now it is time to rest. So letting any thoughts go that are not peaceful and calm and restful. Coming back to your natural rhythm of breathing and as you find the mind wandering, bring it back to the breath. In and out. In and out. Start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Deep breath in as you stretch the hands up above you. Stretch the toes out and exhale. Hinging at the hips, we're gonna come up. Take your time, let those eyes stay closed or heavy. Find a comfortable seated position. Breathe in, bring those hands up high. And exhale, press them down. Inhale the hands up. And exhale to press them down. Let's take one more. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, press them down through heart center. <laughs> the light in me sees and acknowledges the light in each and every one of you. Now in saying this and practicing together, I know that through the interwebs, nonetheless, we are the same. We are one. So together we bow and say namaste. Thank you so, so much for coming to practice <laughs> with me. 
once again. I am so, so grateful that you are here, that you are carving out this space for yourself, that you are finding a little bit of calm within the chaos. And a lot of people might not super agree with different like themed yoga classes and um, flowing to certain types of music, but in my mind, whatever brings you to your mat, whatever brings you closer to that stillness, that mindful movement, that meditation, that quiet, that place in your heart and in your mind that we all really need, like, who cares how you get there? So if that means that you gotta listen to a little bit of screamo and some swears and stuff and sweat it out on your mat for 45 minutes before you can relax and meditate, then that's where you're at. And I'm happy that you're sharing that with me. All right, you guys, signing off. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Again, my name is Erin. I'm very grateful that you have joined me in this space. We will talk soon. Let me know what else you want to see. Bye.